Well, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the trust uh, bestowed on me by the leaders of uh, the 12 countries uh, within the PIDF, particularly the chair of PIDF, mm -hmm. to run the secretariat and deliver the, the objectives of the PIDF mm -hmm. in helping member states mm -hmm. uh, transit to a blue and green economy through the areas of conservation, uh, climate uh, change, uh, adaptation, building resilience, and also in conservation in the areas of ocean. Mm -hmm. Our platform is basically to realize uh, business application of conservation so that resource owners and people in communities mm -hmm. can be empowered economically when they participate uh, in conservation and this is uh, an important uh, platform where we uh, bring together the civil societies and the private sector and we learn from and get advice from uh, the private sector in particular on how we can uh, realize business application of uh, uh, conservation. There have been a, um, a number of successful projects uh, that's been uh, trialed out in Fiji and this is what we are going to take to the rest of the Pacific. Yes. And uh, we'll, we'll be informing the, the leaders later this year on these, uh, on these programs. Well, one of the programs that we are rolling out now is the solarizations of heads of states' uh, residence um, and uh, government buildings. Uh, this project is funded uh, by the government of India. But our partners uh, include uh, you know, the Clinton Foundation and um, other technical agencies. And the objective is to, to make uh, strong the advocacy platforms mm -hmm. of uh, Pacific Island leaders' uh, uh, position when they engage in the discussion of uh, renewable energy. They themselves can relate to the to the usefulness of uh, having residents that are solarized. And these are the, the kind of uh, small programs with huge impacts that PIDF can leverage with our development partners in uh, strengthening the advocacy platform of the Pacific Island leaders. We want to like get our, our staff uh, be focused on the areas where the leaders have asked us to deliver on. Mm -hmm. And those are in uh, uh, renewable energy and realizing the economic potential, particularly in the, in the blue uh, and green economy. Mm -hmm. Because when you engage with the people on the ground, they do not have uh, the detailed ideas of how blue and green economy can manifest themselves uh, in uh, our communities, mm -hmm. in their daily lives. And this is one area that we are getting our staff uh, attuned to mm -hmm. when we engage with the uh, communities. Well, firstly, I'm very pleased and I uh, warmly congratulate Ambassador Solomara uh, as the new appointee to the PIDF. And uh, on behalf of the chair, that's the prime minister. Fiji took chair of PIDF again in June this year. So we are very proud about um, re-engaging him back to uh, the PIDF and he's no stranger, he's been our ambassador uh, to London and also to the United States and uh, now that uh, <coughs> uh, he's, he's back here with us, I mean, he's served as former permanent secretary for foreign affairs. So all that experience uh, we want. We, uh, we know that he will deliver new leadership to PIDF. There are key areas that we seriously want to work on. That uh, three that in my mind right now would be climate change, impacts of climate change, and then renewable energy, and also the inclusion of the private sector in terms of trade and investment no, to the member countries and vice versa. No. Most of the um, most of the countries uh, around us we can harvest a lot, of, uh, lot, lot from the sun. So this is where we need to advance ourselves you know, on renewable energy, uh, energy sources and feed his own uh, plants to go carbon free. I think this is going to work hand in hand and uh, Fiji will be able to provide the lead role 
in that regard because we were a member of the International Solar Alliance. Uh, we are the founding members, so a lot can be um, gained from, uh, from, from India and we look forward that, that uh, the next uh, FIPIC that we'll have, uh, more than likely in Papua New Guinea, hosted by, uh, co-hosted by India, you know, we can put this forward. And with uh, Ambassador Mara's experience, I'm sure that uh, the PIDF needed new leadership and we are very proud that uh, he's one of our own. So we'll work very, very closely with him and our office, Office of the Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs, likewise you know, the, all the regional uh, members. Um, and we'll put PIDF back to uh, what were the intentions of it.